Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Sarah. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell button next to it so that you will know when I've uploaded a new video. In today's video, I'm just doing a simple get ready with me. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my hair, how I do my makeup, what products I use. My makeup routine is super simple. I am no beauty guru. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Like, please don't drag me. I'm not good at my makeup, but like I do just a really quick, simple routine that like gets me through the day because I have a four year old and I'm not a morning person and I get ready within like 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys how I did my hair the other day. I only wash my hair like every couple days because I like to straighten it and I also don't like to kill it. So I washed it a few days ago um, and then I used this to style my hair. This thing is amazing. It is the Revlon Hot Airbrush. I will link it down below. It is truly a godsend. I can blow dry and blow out my hair in 10 minutes. So the other morning when I did do my hair, I got in the bathroom and started doing it at 6.20. I was done by 6.31, so 11 minutes. At max, it's taken me 15 minutes, and that's when my hair was a lot longer than it is now. So this thing, truly awesome. So before we do my makeup routine, I will insert that footage right here. All right, so while you guys watched me do my hair, I already washed my face. I'm going to show, I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use and I will try to link everything down below for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna show you like, so my acne, <laughs> my acne has been like really bad. And as you can see, like my skin still isn't the greatest, but I have kind of discovered a little skincare routine that works really, really well for me. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use. So I wash my face with this, like the Cetaphil oily skin. And then afterwards, Target brand toner, up and up. Works really, really great. And then I spray some of this on my face, just like a soothing, what's well, called a soothing facial mist, um, rose water. It has vitamin E, it has salicylic acid in it. I can feel my face tightening when I use it and I think it's actually really helped clear up a lot of my acne. So I'll link those down below. I also forgot to mention that at, when my hair is wet, I do spray this into it before I style it and it works really well. <laughs> Again, I'm no beauty guru, okay guys? So I never really wore makeup at all and then um i had my makeup professionally done once and the way my skin looked i was like whoa i used to just wear like a maybe like a cover girl situation um my friend amanda actually like back in 2007 ish when i was in nursing school she had brought me to a mac counter and i had my makeup done there and <laughs> went a little crazy and bought like 150 dollars worth of mac cosmetics and used those for years and then I just switched back to CoverGirl, had my makeup done for my wedding, and was like, I really need to start wearing makeup more. But still didn't really like get into it. <clears throat> I mean, I liked doing it like for dressing up, but it wasn't something I did every day. And then <laughs> I had a bit of a depressing moment and went to Sephora back in like 2017 and a low moment, had my makeup done there, 
learned how to contour, learned how to highlight from the girl doing my makeup. And she sold me about $300 worth of products that I'm still using and that I actually have replaced. This is one of the ones I've replaced. This is my foundation, Tarte by Amazonian Clay. I use light beige, fair sand, just kidding. <laughs> Not a beauty guru, I'm gonna remind you of that 26 times in this video. So, fair sand. Also, to start, but before I do my foundation, I'm gonna prime my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It was a Jeffree Star recommendation and I watch all of his videos because he's amazing. And uh, he really knows his makeup stuff, so. I'm just gonna put some of that on my face. It's just crazy like how you can like all of a sudden get into makeup and like my mom never taught me how to use makeup growing up really so like I was definitely like that 12 year old girl with blue eyeshadow like up to here. I'm kind of like mad that my daughter's gonna be like one of those girls who like watches YouTube and her makeup and eyeliner is gonna be like on point and I'm gonna still be over here with blue eyeshadow up to my eyebrows. Like, okay sis. All right, so my face is primed and looks even more red than it did. Right now I'm a little tan, so this is actually a little too bright for me, but I'm gonna roll with it. And I never really used like a beauty blender before recently either. Like I can't even remember when I started using a beauty blender, but we lived, we stand. I think even when I started using this foundation, I like used a foundation brush. And when I had my MAC stuff, I also used a foundation brush, which I still have that brush to this day. But I kind of prefer the sponge because I just feel like it blends better. I'm not going to forget my forehead. Relax. Oh, and by the way, oh, do you see that in my hair? Oh, really? So I have to do my makeup without my glasses, obviously. And so like, I'm just free balling it completely blind. Just doing this, getting makeup in my hair. I'm blind as a bat, but it's fine. It'll be fine in the end. It's always fine in the end. Don't forget your neck <laughs> or your ears, right? So when I went to Sephora a couple years ago, she sold me some Anastasia Beauty um, foundation sticks. <laughs> so I have this one for contour and I have this one like for highlight. And she told me like put it under my eyes and you know, like down my nose and like the whole nine. Um, but I'm actually gonna do like my concealer, so hang on. So right now I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It actually works really well. And I mean, the doe foot is like super big and then you don't even need like a lot of product. I just, yeah, I put it all over because we have a lot to cover. We gotta get rid of the raccoon eyes. And I'm gonna do like my full face for you guys today, which I don't really get to do often because like, like I said, I get ready in like 30 minutes and I usually have a four year old screaming at me, which is fun. So mostly like during the week, all I really get to do is like my foundation, maybe concealer and then my highlight. I don't always contour but we try. Sometimes when I get up early enough, I can do it all. All right, so now that my concealer is done, we're gonna use, use our setting power, powder. Setting powder. Again, I have e.l.f. Jeffrey recommends stuff and you just gotta listen sometimes, especially when it's like $5 and under. You can't like really go wrong, I'm telling you. So let's bake my face.
And honestly, like, this stuff is kind of magical because, like, my makeup really stays all day. And I, like, literally just put it, I put it all over my face because it's kind of everything. Oh, I just got it in my mouth. And it's probably entirely possible I'm doing all of this wrong and that's like really okay with me because I really do oh it's all over my shirt because I just don't know how to do my makeup like at all <laughs> you can see it all over my shirt that's really fun yay <laughs> We won't be wearing this shirt in public today. I hate when I'm getting ready for work too. And then like I leave and I look down and I have all this powder on my shirt. And I'm like, cool. Let's go to work like that. That's great. So I do have these and I love them for contouring and highlighting. But I also had bought this little palette for contouring and highlighting. And I really like it for my contour. So I use it quite a bit. I'm actually going to put my glasses back on to do my contour. You can still see the foundation in my hair. Ew. Oh gosh. Okay. So like this I can go like really, really lightly with. And it just does like just enough. That's like crazy because I just feel like no matter what I do with my contour, like I never blend it well enough at all. And it just always looks like stupid. Do you love how all girls make that face when they're doing their contour look? I don't really contour my nose either. Like, I know a lot of people do, but, like, my nose is kind of tiny already. And, like, I just have never really felt, like, the need. Okay, so next what I do I highlight my face so oh no so this is my literally my favorite highlighter okay it's skin frost it's peach gold my Jeffree Star highlighter can I just tell you the saddest story in the world and Jeffree if you ever somehow manage to watch this please hook a single mom up because I love your products and I'm so sad about this so she broke she fell on the floor and she broke and my four-year-old as I'm literally crying and girls you understand when your makeup breaks and it's really expensive you will actually cry especially when it's like your most favorite thing so it broke on the floor I'm cleaning it up and I'm crying and my four-year-old's just sitting there and she's like mommy it fell mommy it broke and I'm like no kidding like no kidding thanks for kicking mommy while she's down thanks a lot we love and like his products are so good and they feel so nice on your skin and this breaking is not a result of like poor product making at all it's just I'm clumsy and stupid and I had it on the sink and it just fell I'll also tell you my alien palette which I like live for and spent money on for Christmas for myself that also fell <laughs> And literally not just fell, but like cat catastrophically fell. Like it fell from like the top shelf over here, hit the toilet, and then fell on the floor. And like two of the, two of the shades broke. And I'm just like, really? Why am I like this? Why do I do this to myself? And you don't even like need a lot of product of his either. Like it just blends and it's so nice. See? and we love it we just love it 
and we're really sad that it's broken and we're gonna replace it one day I swear side note I didn't use any of this but I have been using a lot of this and it smells so good it smells like suntan lotion like it's so nice on your skin and I've been using it to kind of replace the tan that my foundation takes away but I didn't use any today I also <laughs> I don't normally do anything to my eyes because I wear glasses and uh, as you've seen my glasses I have a lot of eye issues and stuff can really irritate my eyes pretty easily so I kind of save eyes for a special occasion also I suck I suck at eye makeup like I'm the worst at it don't ever ask me to do your eyeliner because I can't even do my own and I'm not gonna do it today either I'm legit not doing my eyeliner today. I also, <laughs> Harry Potter brushes. I also only do like one shade on my eyes because I'm just like terrible at blending eyeshadow. And again, I was the 12 year old that had blue eyeshadow up to here. So we don't play. So I am gonna use my Alien palette because we love it. And I have a few favorite shades in here. I'm gonna use, let me read it. I don't even want to show you guys what this palette looks like right now because of its brokenness. It's so freaking bad. Um, I'm going to use Interstellar. That's kind of my favorite one. So we're just going to get right up and personal with the iPhone and use it as a mirror. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm filming this in my iPhone, but it has a viewfinder, which I think really helps and I can't afford a camera with a viewfinder and yes I have my Canon DSLR and yes I have my little Nikon and they're great but they don't have viewfinders so it's like hard and I don't know why but my flipping Canon I'll be like recording and like mid storytelling and doing a video and it's like hey so I just stopped recording hope you don't mind and I'm like that's cool love that that's not at all annoying and ridiculous and now I have to go back and redo footage where it's like and my Nikon does the same thing and it's like why why would you do that like I get low battery but your battery's full so what are we doing so it's fine I'll just use my iPhone till we can afford something better but honestly like iPhone quality is not bad it's really not so this is like really all I'm gonna do to my eyes <laughs> and I know it's kind of dumb but we're really just not good at the eye stuff I will put mascara on though. I'll make that happen. I can do that. I don't wear mascara often enough to even know what kind I use, but I just try to use the kind that doesn't make my eyes gunky and weird because my eyelashes are naturally long. Don't drag me. <laughs> They're naturally long. I know people get like so pissed when I say that, but you know what? Here we are. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for my mascara, too. And I'm going to let that dry before I put my glasses back on. And then my setting spray. So I bought the Fittish setting spray from Jenna from Kid Craddock in the morning because I absolutely love her and adore her. And her products are really great. The only thing I don't necessarily like about this, and I kind of want to get the Morphe one because I kind of like the idea of like the fine mist aerosol spray. This doesn't really have that and I feel like it just like hits me in the face too hard when I use it. See? I don't know. I, but we're gonna finish me off. Whew. And this stings a little bit. But I'll tell you what, this stuff really holds your makeup all day. Like when I use it, even when I go to like blow my nose, my makeup won't come off on the tissue, which is pretty impressive. So this stuff is really cool. All right. Ooh, she can see. So last but not least, the lips. Let's get those hammered out. So I have two really like all time favorite lipsticks. I have a lot in here, but. This is my hot pink lipstick from Urban Decay. 
It's called Anarchy. It's literally one of my all-time favorite shades, but I'm not going to use that one today. I just want to tell you guys about it because we stand, we love, we live. That $300 that I spent in Sephora, that was part of it because I was like, I just like went like this and tried it on and I was like, ooh girl, she looks good. She looks good with those lips. But today I'm going to use my other favorite, again, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, we love. This is um, from the Alien Collection, his Velour Lipstick. It is Jeffrey Who. Jeffrey Who. And it looked a little more, I think, pink online, but it's actually like kind of a deep red and it's like really, really nice. And I don't have any lip liner because <laughs> I'm not a beauty guru. So that is my face and it's all done. Let me take my hair down. So this is like my typical makeup routine that I do. Actually, it's a little more than my normal because again, I did my eyes and I don't typically do my eyes just because I just don't. My glasses are my eyes. <laughs> and I'm honestly one of those people that's like, my sunglasses are eye makeup and I just wear sunglasses all the time. It's really great. <laughs> so that's it. So thank you guys for watching so, so much. Again, I will link all of the products I used today down below. I hope you guys like today's Get Ready With Me and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I love you guys.